When you're lesson planning and you're presenting your lesson to your students, it's really, really important to have a hook that gets their attention. It gets them thinking about what you're going to be teaching or reviewing with them. Um, so we've been talking about lesson planning. In the last video, I shared um, a comparison between Madeline Hunter and 5E, and my district uses Madeline Hunter as our, assess as our evaluation tool, but um, 5E really works well in science. So we are focusing on 5E, but it definitely fits into Madeline Hunter. And we are going to go over lesson plan hook ideas today in 5E Engage. And if we haven't met yet, I am Fleur from um, Aloha Monday Teaching, and let's get started. So this is based on a blog post I wrote about lesson plan hook ideas, so some quick and easy um, ideas for science. So what is a hook? Well, a hook is something that you want, you need to grab your student's attention. It's something that should engage your student. Um, it should spark wonder and curiosity about your topic, and it should make the student ask questions. Um, another thing is it is something that gets them thinking about previous learning or making those connections to their prior knowledge, and that way it grabs their brain's attention. And I want to show you actually some um, quick ideas. So one of the words in science is phenomena. And NGSS has a great website, which, oh, it's not letting me scroll. <laughs> they, they have all of these images of phenomena that you can apply to your science lessons, which is really cool. And everything that I talk about today will be linked in the description below. All right. So what? let's talk about the brain and using a hook in science, which is your 5e engage portion of your lesson or when you think of Madeline Hunter, it's that um, anticipatory set. And this is something you should do each day, whether if you're reviewing something from pre the previous day's learning, then your hook would be a review of that knowledge that you taught them, or it could be something brand new and um, something novel to your students. So they, what happens in the student's brain is a, your lesson hook can get the attention of your student's RAS, the reticular activating system, which is in the back of the brain, the brainstem. And what the RAS does is it filters out unnecessary information. It's really interesting if you research it. I mean, our brain is exposed to so many pieces of information around us every second, millisecond. I mean, if you think about it, all of the things that we see and hear and all of that our brain has to filter it and see what is the most important thing to focus on. And that's what the RAS does. It helps us focus on what is most important. So as teachers, we want to make sure we get our students' attention. So they're like, okay, this is important. I need to focus on this. And then their brains will um, focus. And the RAS likes um, novelty, uh, things that make them question. So that's really important to incorporate in your hook. So some hook ideas include an image. You could show a picture. Um, you could show a video. You could pose, like give them a problem and maybe they come up with some solutions. Pose a question where they have to think about some possible answers to. A story, tell them a story or give them some kind of puzzle to solve or a demonstration. So some examples of hook ideas. If you're teaching, let's say you're teaching about climate change, you could show a before and an after picture of an area that got that's affected by climate change, like coral reefs or forests. So you could introduce them to coral bleaching and those kinds of things. Um, cells, you could show a picture of an animal cell and a plant cell under a microscope so students can compare and contrast them. And those will get them thinking about um, some questions, activate that RAS. Teaching about weather, they can go outside and observe the weather. Uh, natural disasters, you can show an uh, image or a video of a tornado or a hurricane, a tsunami, get them thinking about those things. Air pressure, one of my favorite demonstrations to do is the egg in a bottle where the, you light a match, put it in a bottle, 
put the egg on top and then the egg gets pushed into the bottle. It's super cool. And they learn about the differences in air pressure. It leads them into wind and ocean currents, all of these things. And I can always relate back to it. Uh, for let's say you're teaching about friction, you can have a race using cars on the tile and carpet to show differences there. Uh, Newton's Laws of Motion on the NGSS website that I was showing you, they have some good pictures of phenomena that you can use for any of these things, but um, you can show it a video of something colliding with another object. Ecosystems, have them brainstorm animals in different areas and then show them a list and images of endangered species to trigger an emotional response. That's another part of a hook. If you trigger their emotions, oh, they are engaged, right? So that is an idea there. So what are some of your favorite lesson plan hooks? And what ideas do you have for your lesson plan hooks? So if you're not using a hook at the beginning of each lesson, just uh, make a plan to use one in your next unit. Try it out and see how it gets your students' attention. Um, and I also want to point out, so a lot of these are pretty exciting and things like that, but I know the question comes up with, what if you're just reviewing, like you're continuing a lesson because it takes two days. The review part is so important. So that is okay for your hook, even if it's not like, like this egg in a bottle demonstration, review that egg in a bottle demonstration. Hey, remember when we did this and what happened to the bottle? And their brains will start to make those connections and you'll have them engaged again for the rest of your lesson. All right, well, go ahead and check out these videos that are related to lesson planning and I will see you next time.